Imagine this, a rustling forest, seemingly calm, composed, and harmonious. But little do you know, beneath the surface, an unseen drama unfolds. A battle of survival, communication and strategy taking place between trees. Yes, trees. Today we dive into the fascinating science of how forests communicate and sometimes even fight back. Welcome to the secret war of the trees. Let's start with the unexpected protagonist of this story. The mycorrhizal network, also poetically known as the wood wide web. Imagine an underground internet, not of cables, but of fungal threads connecting the roots of trees. Through this intricate web, trees exchange information, nutrients, and occasionally warnings about threats like insect infestations. Picture this, a tree under attack by leaf-eating caterpillars. Using the wood wide web, it sends out distress signals in the form of chemical compounds through its roots. Other trees pick up on the message and start ramping up their defenses, producing leaves with unpalatable chemicals to deter caterpillars. It's almost like they're texting each other. Alert! Pest invasion in sector four! But trees don't just defend themselves. They also engage in diplomacy. Take the case of older, massive trees, termed mother trees, which nurture younger saplings by sharing nutrients through the fungal network. It's a nurturing act of ensuring survival within the family of flora. But wait, it gets juicier. Trees, like secret agents, also have their own chemical arsenal. Some trees under attack emit airborne signals as a type of forest gossip. Nearby plants, hearing this chatter, jump into action before a threat even reaches them. Imagine you're sitting in a coffee shop and overhear someone talking about burglars in the neighborhood. Your immediate reaction? Lock your doors. Trees, too, lock their metaphorical doors. Then there's the darker, almost Machiavellian side of forest life. Certain tree species release chemicals into the soil to inhibit the growth of competitors. It's subtle, it's strategic, and it ensures their dominance. Scientists call this allelopathy, but I like to call it nature's version of corporate sabotage. Why does all this matter, you wonder? Understanding the complex dynamics of tree communication could unlock solutions to preserving our forests, combating climate change, and even producing resilient crops. It's not just nature we're saving, it's our future. So the next time you walk through a forest, remember, beneath your feet lies a world of intrigue. It's not just a serene scene, it's a battlefield, a network, and a community of incredible interdependence. Nature has a language of its own, it's time